so this video is gonna be really choppy because um, they really don't allow us to record in here. But so far, I made it up to the. This is the third floor. The first floor I went on was the fifth floor. I guess it's just to evaluate if um, if you're qualified, basically, for the shelter or not. The lady was kind of giving me a problem. She basically was just saying that. Um, I'm not a resident of New York, that I would have to go back to Atlanta. But I'm like, I'm originally from New York. I moved to Atlanta two years ago. And now serving eight, eight, six, seven, all, all those numbers that you hear is basically the numbers that they call supposedly in order, but I've been through this process before. Stuff is never in order. Um, basically trying to be discreet about it but I know they see me recording they would throw a whole heart attack they would have a fit anyway now I'm just basically waiting for a counselor or somebody to call my name to basically get placed I assume so once I get placed or whatever I'm going to definitely blow that Hold on. If Hey, excuse you. Stop it. Exactly. Stop being stingy and share. You can share your cards. Oh, say hi, Jeremiah. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, so. You know, there's other families in here, too. Why are you I kind of do feel out of place, but at the same time, I just feel like, you know, obviously we're all here for one reason, is to get a place. So. Well, that's so pretty, Joseph. You definitely are an artist. I love it. So I just feel like, you know, I have no room to judge nobody, and I just feel like nobody has room to judge me. And, yeah. So I'll probably blog again after I see the counselor. You know, this shit is like an all-day process. I'll just keep blogging and blogging and blogging and blogging. Okay, so I'm gonna hurry up and blog. We're basically in the place right now, as you can see. I don't want to give you a little glimpse really quickly. Joey Eden is cutting the heck up from here. I'm not gonna lie, this was a little faster than last time. The last time I've been here, I've been in here all day. Oh, I'm you lying. Right, I'm, later. I'm back, guys. I freaking made it downstairs to the lower level. The lower level is basically there. You're just waiting for your name to be called for them to place you. Either going to be placed in Manhattan, the Bronx, Brooklyn, or Queens. I don't know about Staten Island. I never heard about nobody being placed in Staten Island before, but I'm just waiting to be placed. I want to be placed in Manhattan because I want to be close to my sister. We're but in the Bronx. Wherever they We're place the me, I don't want to be placed in no Bronx. <laughs> Sorry, no. Aiden, get off of him. Keep your hands to yourself, okay? So yeah, I don't. Joe want to be placed in the Bronx. I don't want to be placed. I don't know, Joe. What do you know about the Bronx? What do you know about the Bronx? Please explain. You don't know nothing, but you want to go to the Bronx? I I don't know nothing. Crazy. Like they're more lenient down here. With, I'm not gonna say with the recording, but I'm pretty sure if they were to see me recording, they would tell me to like cut this camera off. But I'm gonna cut right now. And as I've seen, it's not really full down here. A lot of people. So now I'm just waiting to be placed. And once they place me, and I get transferred over, however they transfer me over there, I definitely will be vlogging that. But right now my phone is literally on 10%, so I'm going to charge it up, and then I'm gonna come back with the vlog. So y'all, keep me y'all posted. Um, overall, I feel like this has been a very fast, this haven't been like OD fast, but from last time, I didn't leave here until like 1, 12 o'clock in the morning. And it's only like 5, 6 o'clock right now. I believe I got here about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So for me, this is like a fast process. But if anybody else that haven't been through this, they would think this is very long, but this is a fast process. And I appreciate the supervisor that took over my case. She was so nice to me. The lady I first had had a nasty little attitude for whatever reason. And we'll get into that another, another time. But I'm going to end this here so I can charge my phone. So I brought a whole bunch of charger packs. And I'm about to charge my phone. 
and I'm come back to the tea. Later, guys. So I'm just leaving now, leaving out of path. They told me that they placed me in the Bronx. They said it's not too far from where the path building is at. So I'm just gonna take the train there. There's no point of waiting hours and hours for them to take me there. I'm not gonna just get on the train and go. <sighs> get over here, boy, hold my arm. Yeah, so anyway, but I don't think I'm gonna stay there long. Like I don't really like the Bronx. I don't rock with the Bronx, so like, it's not my thing. So I don't know. No, I might just have to rock out for the sake of my kids, but you know how it be. I right, put your kids first. So, that being said, we're gonna cross over this way. Give me a hand. Um, back it on. No, we got the light. Come on, we got the light. We got the light. Hold my hand. Anyway, so this boy just freaking pissed me off. I'm gonna freaking call me talking about. Oh, look how he said. And I'm talking about James, by the way. He's gonna call me talking about, oh, yes, I guess whatever night we left or who, I don't know, who knows. He went out to the bar with his peoples and some lady, whoever, approached his co workers. Oh, I used to be with my man or whatever. And they got into some big bar fight. So I'm just looking like, so at that point when he's told me that, I just saw I don't wanna hear it anymore. Like, I'm over here struggling with your kids and you're at a bar getting drinks and all this stupid shit, kicking it up, fighting for a next bitch. Oh, God. This shit don't add up, yo. I tell you, I could not, this is my life. Like, I don't make none of this shit up. This is real life, okay? Let's go, walk up. Like, it's crazy. I just told him I don't wanna hear it. After I said that, you know shit just got awkward because who wants to hear that? Get your brother's hand. Look at you. <sighs> Sorry. So anyway, she just pissed me off just now. Like, <laughs> I ain't even saying this. I feel like if I would've said something, we just so would've started an argument and I ain't got time for that. I got bigger and better things to worry about. And she with this shelter looking like. I wonder if it's like an apartment or is it like a hotel? I doubt it's a hotel it's in the Bronx, so I can't be a hotel. I don't know, this vlog might be a long vlog. But on top of that, I gotta figure out what we're gonna eat. God, so much shit is going on right now in my life. It's just in fucking insane. I'm getting on the train, we're taking the train. I gotta figure out. I mean, it says four stops away, but gotta figure it out because I don't really know the transit like that. Ciao. Tell you. Today has been a stressful day with these boys. They've been cutting up all day. Not listening. So, yeah. Stop right now. I swear, I'm gonna try to stop cursing for 2019, but this shit is fucking hard. <laughs> like, even just now saying that, I said a whole curse. Like, <sighs> crazy, yo. This is fucking crazy. Popeyes do look good, though. I'm hungry for some Popeyes now. This is crazy, yo. No reason why I should be living like this, like for real, for real. But you know what? A couple years from now, I'll be sitting on somebody's beach, telling y'all the same little experience, this testimony, how I overcame it.